Good morning. So let's talk Woba Pro Color. So Woba Pro Color is Woba's solvent based four stain and I used this for the first time a few weeks ago on some uh, pine flooring. And the pine flooring had been down for about maybe 10 to 12 years and the customer had originally stained it himself once it was installed and put some uh, varnish on it. And actually it looked okay. Uh, it was it was quite a nice looking finish by the customer, uh, which as you know you don't always find because sometimes you come across some horrendous uh, finishes by customers. So, but he was after a nice dark colour and I've been wanting to use Pro Colour for a little while, so he picked Wenge and there will be a link in the section below and that will go to some sort of before and after photos so you can sort of see the, the general results. So this product comes in a 100ml size or a 750ml size. Uh, you get 10 colours, uh, but you can mix mix the colours together or you can use transparent uh, to dilute it and just bring down the intensity of the colour. So my experience with the product was good. So I sanded the floor, uh, finished at about 100 or well, I think it was 120 mesh power uh, from Norton on it. Uh, water popped it, left it to dry for a couple of hours. Uh, it's always quite a good idea to have a moisture meter to test. Uh, take a read before you water pop and then afterwards because the, the top of the pine or, or oak can, can certainly look dry but inside it can still have a, a water content so you just want to try to avoid any problems the next day or, or the same day when you're applying primer or lacquer to the floor. So dry time isn't too bad, it was 12 hours so uh, <clears throat> I just applied it in the afternoon, went home, came back the next day. Uh, you can go straight on with any of the water-based uh, lacquers uh, from Woba here in the UK. Uh, or you can use Easy Prime and then lacquer on top. So I went with Viva for this one. It was a dining room. Uh, the couple just loving their own, so it's not mega high traffic or anything. I would say it was very low traffic actually, so, so that worked out well as well. Uh, it does say with a wool now I haven't double checked this with them so if you're going to do it have a double check but it does say about using the white uh, stain colour you're to use their Prima Seal so I imagine their Prima Seal is probably like a, maybe a solvent based sealer and that is to avoid a uh, tannin pool on a uh, sort of like white oak or, or even pine so I think, I think thinking about it Basically the white pigmentation might not be 100% saturated saturated into the wood and if you put your sort of easy prime which is water based on top it could get some tannin pool, maybe get some blotchy patches that are uh, sort, of, sort of red or even green uh, from what I've read online. So once it was water popped and dried, uh, no, Woba here in the UK will say it's up to you how you apply it and remove the excess. Uh, there's no set way, it just depends on the floor, which is which I'll probably now agree with. Uh, so I tried ragging on, ragging off to start with, uh, and the, the applying it was okay, uh, but trying to rag off, it just, I don't know, it, it, it just didn't seem very even and a little bit blotchy. So, uh, so I quickly just got the rotary out of the, out the van, uh, stuck a white pad on the bottom and uh, ran it over what I'd done so far and that was perfect. Uh, the four looked you know, sort of 100 times better doing it that way. Now with the application I was going to apply it by machine because I know you can do that but instead I decided to apply it by hand with a nylon white pad uh, simply because I'd forgotten to bring with me the tape and drape for around the walls and, and it was fresh, freshly decorated the walls. So uh, I didn't want the machine kicking up any spots and uh, looking like it had been flicking stain all over the floor. That would not have gone down well with the customer, I don't think. So so yeah, uh, remove, at the end I just ran it over with some uh, cotton towels underneath the pad as well just to, to bring, to take off as much, all, all the excess that you can. Uh, 
can just continue to even out with a white pad in the rotary. So it's quite fast uh, and coverage wise, uh, coverage wise the, the room was about the room was about 14, 15 square meters. And so I've got a full one left here. Uh, one I was told would be enough, uh, probably. And obviously if you water pop it's going to uh, you're gonna use a lot more stain. Uh, I does say in the tech sheet about double the amount of stain. So uh, I used just shy of 750 mil on that. So I got two because I thought, oh, I don't want to, don't want to run out on the job. That would be a nightmare uh, situation, I think. Uh, so yeah, 750 mil was quite good coverage, I thought, for for a, a dark stain with water popping. So as I said, I left it overnight and uh, went back in the next day and put a uh, easy prime down and about, sort of, about an hour later I applied the first coat of uh, Viva uh, and then waited a few hours, about three and a half for that to, to dry. It's one of these jobs where you just want to, you know, it had to get primer and both coats of lacquer uh, done in the same day, uh, which was fine. There was a small issue where there was two tiny little issues on, on the floor, but maybe one P penny size and it had taken some of the lacquer off when I was uh, doing the intermediate sanding that's probably uh, the rest of the floor was absolutely fine uh, I just think there was two little bits that weren't fully dry uh, and going forward uh, what I've been doing is just using a lighter machine uh, that's for intermediate sanding if you're doing primer and two coats of lacquer in the same day just avoids for me any any potential issues going forward. So the actual colour itself was really really nice this Wenge. Uh, I wasn't sure how it was going to be when I started and when I said to the customer this might be awful, I'm not a big fan of dark colours on pine but I loved it, it was really really nice and when you'll see from the photo once Viva was on it as well which was a matte finish uh, it just had a nice sort of nice glow to it uh, a nice rich colour as well and looked uh, yeah the customer was really happy uh, and so was I because he paid the bill straight away so that's always a good sign uh, so yeah Loba Pro Colour would I use it again absolutely I'd use it again uh, and I will be using it again uh, hopefully in projects in the future so if you have any questions drop them in the comments below hit the subscribe button for more videos because this is a, a work in progress this channel but I'm sure that we'll uh, We'll, we'll get there in the end.